Hello guys, Mechanized IT here again, um, with some more Space Engineers, but this time I'm not going to be talking about my mods. I'm just doing a little bit of vanilla um, building and creative, and since the latest update that added the holographic projector, I've had a lot of fun um, working on some automated builders, um, playing around with um, some other stuff that I'm going to show you. So I thought I would share this machine with you. It's kind of crude, not very pretty, too many timer blocks. Um, but basically, the idea is, using the projector, I can turn this thing on, and it will build a platform of a three blocks wide uh, for as long as the universe will allow. Um, and it'll do it all on its own thanks to the projector and I don't have to lay any blocks. I built this initially because I've been playing survival lately and I'll show you guys that in a minute probably and I was building a really big ship and I hate just flying around for hours and hours laying down blocks so I've kind of been waiting for something like this to come out. I thought they were going to come out with something like this and as everybody else did and finally happened so Yay for automated building. Um, let me just turn this on. I haven't ran it in a while. But hopefully it will still do what it's supposed to do. Um, let's hop out. It's kind of complicated to explain unless I go through all the steps. Um, but basically, I turn the first timer on. It's uh, The timers are all set to loop. Uh, the first time I turned those back grinders on, which aren't really important right now, but then it turned on these welders, which welds the um, holographic projector. As you can see here, this is all welded up, but down here, the holographic projector hasn't been completed, so it still persists. And there you can see it just got connected to the platform behind it. Um, these grinders back here are grinding away the um, merge blocks that were um, built with the projector. Um, this grinder up here, after the platform is welded, uh, it cuts this block loose, which cuts the platform loose. And let's go around the other side. On this side, we have this piston here with the merge block. And here you'll see it just got completed really fast because we're in creative. And as soon as that cuts it loose, should I have the um, the welders are going to be on for like 10 seconds, uh, just so I can put this in survival. I'll probably still have to tweak it in survival because I don't think 10 seconds would be enough to complete this whole platform whole 3 by 3 platform with just the two welders. Um, but anyway, the merge block here is going to... piston is going to do that, and it's going to push it over to the platform. Uh, this merge block turned off in one of the steps so that, yeah, it could move that. I don't know, I can't really explain it very well. It works, I can just leave it and come back. Um, as you can see, I put a red block over here. Um, towards the end of the video, we'll come back and see how much is, it's completed and see if it's not just uh, blown up and floating debris in outer space. Um, okay, we'll leave that for now. We're going to go over here. Um, one of the ideas that I like is about the projector is not just building a ship in creative and then saving a blueprint of it and then taking it to survival and recreating the ship exactly the way it was put together in creative. Um, I like the idea, like the platform over there, of being able to, you know, I could do all that in survival and then I could use this to build a large ship. It could be used to fill the frame of any large ship that has an extremely um, large area that needs to just have a lot of blocks placed and you could just set it and you can 
go off, do some mining, do some other stuff, and come back, and, yeah, I mean, you could put some sensors on it so it would stop when I got to the end of the frame, but, you know, I like that concept a little bit more than building ships and creative, and then taking those ships to survival. Um, I also like the idea of using it to um, do some interesting things, like this helix over here that I did. You know, I didn't do that by hand. I'll show you that in a second. I didn't do this circle by hand. Um, the blueprint for it is just a square 101 by 101, I believe, by 1. And then I used the rotor up there with the arm and the welder on the end of it to make a circle. Okay, let's turn that projector on and we'll get the 101 by 101 platform and project that. It takes a few to load these. It's a lot of blocks. I can imagine some of the large ships um, trying to load projections of those in, into uh, a dedicated server might cause a lot of lag, I would guess. As you can see, the, um, the platform projection isn't quite where it's supposed to be. It was up here where the circle is, as you can see. And then uh, all I did was turn the rotor on that this arm is connected to. I'm really sorry for the lag. Guys, I'm just on a laptop and it's not a very good one, so... It's, it's not ideal for YouTube videos and space engineers. But yeah, I just turned it on and it, you know, it went all the way around. Um, you could build any size circle uh, with this. If you had the, if you just built the the platform, I mean, you could even do that in um, survival. You wouldn't even have to fill in the blocks. Just build a very large frame, and essentially you could build a circle as large as you want just doing that um, without ever having to consult any charts. Um, some of you guys know that I have a mod that adds a circle chart block to the game, which makes building circles a lot easier, but I mean, heck, with uh, blueprints and projectors, um, you wouldn't have to build every size of circle, is what I'm saying. You wouldn't have to build you know, every radius of circle and make a blueprint out of it. You could just build an extremely large platform and then make your arm, the radius of your arm, however big you want your circle to be. So you could have, you know, 500 block radius circle if you wanted. And it's pretty exact. I mean, I didn't consult any charts to see how close it got uh, for this one, but looking at it from the top down, you know, it looks, it's a pretty good circle. I mean, And over here, we have this helix shape, which was, I'll show you, see all the pistons, all it is is there are, there's a rotor at the top, and there are welders. This, this helix doesn't look very good because what I used was a blueprint of a solid column of blocks, I'll show you in a minute. And I put the welders all the way out to the edge, and so really it should have, which is what I did over this one over here, is I moved the welders in one block so that it wouldn't be so square. If you look here, the sides of, of the uh, helix are pretty square. But basically there's a rotor here, and there's a welder there. And what I did with the welders, I surrounded it in blocks, that way, because it's moving through a solid um, column, and welders will weld blocks that are beside them, and I didn't want that to happen, so I surrounded it in, in blocks so that none of the blocks that were projected next to it would be able to be welded, just the ones that were out in front of it. And I set the, um, the rotor at a certain speed, and the pistons, and let it run at the same time. And you'll notice up 
here at the very top piston I have some blast blocks um, blast door blocks and that is used to stabilize all these pistons because that many pistons yeah it's not going to work very well as we all know, you know I could have used my mod um, but you know I came in here in this world and wanted to do what I could do with vanilla blocks and then if that didn't work, I would try some mods. Um, so yeah, it's like a rail system to keep the um, the pistons going straight up and down so they don't just go all wonky and tear themselves up. And it worked alright. Um, this one over here, I'm going to turn it on and let it run. Now this is a really slow process because you know, I didn't want anything to break with those pistons and rotors, so I set everything just about as slow as I could stand. So we're going to let that go. If you can see, it is spinning and moving up very slowly. And we'll come back to it in a minute. First, we're going to go over here. And this basically looks like a helix as well, but that's not what the intention was. The idea was I made a uh, 21 by 21 by 21 cube, and I wanted to make a sphere out of it um, using just one welder and some rotors. I got some interesting results. Basically, I got this design because, um, let me just show you. There is one rotor right there that turns this arm, you know, around and around. And then, uh, what is going on? Then one rotor here that turns that whole system. Is it because I have interpolation on rendering interpolation? I don't know, probably. I should just turn that off because that never seems to work right for me. Yes. Exit. Exit. Okay, so I have this rotor here and this rotor. They're set at the same speed, so if I let it just keep going, it would just keep making this shape here. Let me turn the projector and the blueprint on. What I, if I wanted to make a sphere, I should probably offset them. But now that I think about it, um, it is pretty interesting the things that you could do just by changing the different speeds of each rotor. So I was thinking about setting the bottom rotor at about half. And um, if it's, it starts at the very top, and if I did that, um, the rotor that, that's on the top of it spins twice as fast. It should make like a, a spiral around the sphere, I would think. But anyway, I mean, you could work, you could play with that kind of stuff and um, come up with some interesting designs. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like um, sculpting using a projector and a welder. Um, you could set up ships just to fly through a projected uh, field. You could turn the yaw on or the roll on and put welders and do all kinds of interesting designs. They look very organic compared to trying to lay all those blocks by hand and make something that has curves and um, stuff like that. Uh, 21 by 21 by 21 what I used. So let's use that again. Okay, this is the top rotor. I'm going to set it to... Hmm, I'm going to set it to... 2.5, half the speed. Let's see what that does. That one's 5 still. 2.5. 
turn them on. All. Click. to leave it right here and I'll speed the, the video up in the editing software Alright guys, that looks like it just broke. So I'm gonna stop it there and see what happens. First I'm gonna switch my resolution, I'm really sorry. But the lag is just too much. Yeah, it did look like it was making you know pretty good spiral around until it broke of course, then it just kinda went crazy. Kind of random in there. Instead of going to survival, I'll probably do that in a different video. And I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna go over here and look at the platforms and see how far it went. And then I'm gonna go check on the helix, and then that'll be it. Okay, let's see, is it even still working? It looks like it is. Nothing seems to be broken, which is good. On that far, okay. Uh, let's jump over here. I'll see you when I get there. Alright, looks like that. Finished. And nothing seems to have broken. So let's turn the projector off and see what it looks like. Now that... That looks kind of interesting. It's pretty random, but it's, you know... It's definitely a helix. It gets fatter there and skinnier there. I think it looks a lot better than the other one. They actually look like molecules or something right there. Yeah, it looks like it got to the top and uh, the rotor probably still going. It's going to make it crash into that. Yeah, it's getting all tore up. Anyway, as you can see, there are a lot of different things you could do with the projector. Um, not just uh, not just for putting your favorite creative build into survival. Um, if you're of the artistic nature, which I'm really not, and there's some pretty neat stuff you could do with it. Just use your imagination. Let me know if you guys have any ideas questions or want to know more about uh, my platform. I call it the Brick Layer. Uh, I put it up on the Steam Workshop, so I'll probably put a description in it for it in bah, a link in the description for the platform builder, the Brick Layer. And I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you guys in the survival world probably in my next video. Goodbye.